Hey class, so this is part two. Now that we've got UVs on the surface of our subtools, now we want to export the poly painting so we can make it a game texture. Okay, so let's track down those steps. So just as a review, um, if I were in this head subtool here, I go to geometry, lowest subdivision, I exported the model, I went to 3D Studio Max, and UV unwrapped it. There's the UVs. Collapse that. Exported. Selected. And called it head with UVs. Okay, so then we went back to ZBrush, lowest subdivision level, pressed import, overwrote this subtool, and then voila, we've got UVs. Okay, so what I want to do is go back up to the highest subdivision level. We've got poly painting, we've got UVs. We want to get these poly painted polygons out of ZBrush and into Photoshop. How do we do that? All right, we want to go down here to the texture map rollout. And by the way, before I dive into this, see this colorize button here? This is poly paint. If you turn that off, now you're looking at the surface of the sculpt. Okay, so you can analyze how well your whiskers came out, your eyebrows, uh, wrinkles, etc. by just toggling that on and off. And as an added bonus here, check this out. See this little paintbrush icon? That's the same thing. So that allows you to toggle on and off, colorize, so you can see your surface. Because that's, that's pretty important when you're sculpting and poly painting. All right, so this button right here, new from poly paint, what we're doing is we're going to tell the computer, I want all those RGB colors that are on each polygon mapped to my UV coordinates. So I press that and let it throw up for a little while here. And it's going to populate the results in this window right here. And there it is. You might notice immediately that that is vertically flipped from what we created back in 3D Studio Max. Um, these UVs here, notice how they are oriented that way, but back here in ZBrush, they're flipped. That's what ZBrush does. It does that to every texture, and you just have to know how to handle that. We'll, I'll show you here in a second, but just be aware. All right. Now, when we knew from poly painted here, we told it we wanted it to be 2048. Notice the, the, the width and the height there. Because up here in UV map, we press this button, UV map size, and that's what my, my document defaults to. So if you want to change that to say 4096 or 1024, um, you click this, and then you click new from poly paint, let the computer figure it out, and it will paint a texture here. All right, now how do we get this out of ZBrush? We want to press this clone texture button and notice it showed up over here. We go to the texture drop down menu and we flip it vertically. All right, that flips it around. And now we can click on that and export it. You can either click here or you come up here in texture, export. That's the exact same thing. All right, now let's go call it head diffuse and put it somewhere where I just might possibly find it again. Head diffuse example. Let's go check it out. I'll open up Photoshop. Head diffuse example. So there it is. This is the full cycle of modeling in Max or Maya, sculpting in ZBrush, getting UVs applied, poly painting, and then exporting that for a game texture. And I think you can agree with me that the realism is a head and shoulders quantum leap higher 
uh, than if you were to try to paint this the old school way in the 2D window of Photoshop. So, strong results, and this is how you do it. Thanks for watching.